My daughter Sophia and I have a tradition of hitting the trails. We learn about each other for hiking adventures. We learn about each other and the world, and we chat about the things that matter. Recently, what mattered was some tears about being ignored at kindergarten. <laughs> I, um, it, it was bedtime, so she said, Dad, I felt invisible. It was bedtime, so before I could offer a, a clumsy fix, she crawled into my lap and fell asleep. Perhaps a little sad, I felt a little bit helpless, but it was okay without a solution. We all feel invisible at times, like our voice doesn't matter. I could have said, Sophia, find your voice or speak up. Your voice matters. But when you feel like you don't have a voice, finding your voice is like telling a blind person to see. Having a voice and giving voice to the, community, to the people is one of the great promises of any community. It's how we change the world. Community is, uh, is one of the non-negotiable traits of, of humanity. We, we, every civilization through time was built on two, two, two pillars, community, humility and community. Strong communities recognize, embrace every individual and put value on understanding the strengths of every individual who is inspired to find and understand their unique strengths to best serve the community. The community is stronger than the sum of all individuals. It is strongest when every individual is strongest. It's a healthy relationship, symbiotic, and that each party is, is stronger when the other party is at their best. The, the expectation for all is an individual relationship with community that is reciprocal. We provide value and we are valued. The opposite of value is importance. To become important, we import value from the community. We devalue others. We are all born, we are each enter the world with 100 points of value, and we leave with 100 points of value. At every moment in between, we have exactly 100 points of value. Our brain might trick us at times into feeling worth less, at times that we're the best, like we're the best things since sliced bread. Sliced bread exists. Importance is an illusion, a trick that exploits our basic and healthy human need for individual significance. The, the original sin of community was the disguise of importance as value. Humility and community are both the great strength and the great vulnerability of humankind. We are wired to appreciate the strengths of others before our own. If we exp explore all language, it is always either inspiring us toward humility and community or exploiting our longing for humility and community. Communities have problems. It's normal. We provide value to our community by, by using our, unique str our individual strengths to help solve these problems. Important people love problems, especially identifying them. The easiest way to identify problems is to label normal variances as problems. Someone identifies a problem and values us enough to include us in the solution. That level playing field shifts, and we're okay with it because it's for the good of the community. Some people here want this. Up here says, I can teach you this so you too can serve the community. I can use the help of people like you because there's so many problems. You'll be helping me and the community. I'll call you level two so everybody understands. Now run along and serve your community with what I told you. That number two is gold, immediate credibility. They're closer to the source, obviously, and have the inside track on healing this broken community. Before you know it, there's level fours, 24s, and more. At each level, every individual genuinely believes they are providing value to the community. In truth, each level of importance requires they lose part of their individual voice to the group and, and shift their focus to the weaknesses of lower levels. We have traded value for importance, community for power, on this dysfunctional treadmill where the solutions are always in the hands of the people more important than ourselves. We have learned not to trust ourselves. We've been disempowered 
and divided alongside language of empowerment, unity, and best interests, we learn that our feelings are more potent than our values. We have totally weaponized the human condition. <laughs> and, and that mind trick at level one has led us right here, systemic devaluation. Everyone, every level on that treadmill identifies as a victim. They have all been devalued, lost their individual voice to the group. Every problem we pour resources into with little impact is less symptom, symptom and more a problem of us shifting too far from our humanity. The treadmill is about power and, and control. It, it eliminates discourse and wrecks community because we all know and none of us understand. So how does Sophia find and own her voice, understand her values, and learn her value? Well, that's not a solo journey. <laughs> so children come into our lives at a time when we're, we're on this treadmill, restless, irritable, and discontent. They're the value we're looking for. <laughs> They're the value we're looking for. The beginning of everything that ever matters and the end of everything that doesn't. They're our opportunity to revisit our values and learn our value. I'm part of an organization, the Earhart Club. Our mission is to connect girls with their own unique voice before they lose it to the expectations of others. We've served over 1,200 girls plus their, their mums and grown-ups. Our mission was always to connect to, to nurture meaningful relationships between a girl and her mom to benefit the girl. Our outcomes reflect a deeper impact. At our take to flight graduations, most moms cry as they describe rediscovering their values and relearning their value alongside their daughter. The ripple effect is felt through families, classrooms, and communities as the warm embrace of genuine acceptance. Day one of each cohort, we ask these second and third grade girls, who understands you the most? 73% say no one understands them. 9% say mum. We ask mums, do you think you really understand your daughter? 78% say yes. So 9% of girls say mum gets them, and nearly 80% of mums say they get their daughter. That treadmill teaches us to know people at the expense of understanding them. At the end of 10 weeks, 77% of girls say mum understands them the most, and down, up from 9%, and 36% of mums say they understand their daughter, down from 78%. The girls have gained community alongside their mum, and mums have rediscovered their humility. The path, individual engagement, asking questions and honoring the answer, learning together about women of influence and each other. By seeing the world through her daughter's eyes and instead, instead of insisting she, her daughter see the world through, her, through hers, a girl learns to trust herself. She and mom come to see the best in each other and the best in themselves. And that's how the world gets changed. We aim to give individual girls a voice and gave rise to a community of girls and women who lift each other up because that's what people do when they, under, when they learn, when they trust and value themselves through being trusted and valued. Community is the common understanding that we all have exactly 100 points of, points of value and we are all equally the solution. <laughs>